Morning, Steve Free in Chicago with the morning grain comments. Well, four big news events overnight. First of all, uh, one private crop estimates uh, raised their corn and soybean estimates to a much bigger number than the market had thought. It suggests that the U.S. average corn yield could be 174 and that the bean yield could be close to 48 bushels per acre. Uh, that's more than what people think, and if the USDA was ever to confirm that, it would probably take prices down to a next low, leg lower. Um, the uh, soybean and, and wheat market is down about six cents, corn's down about three cents. Um, in other news, it, it sounds like Ukraine, Russia may be closer to a ceasefire. Uh, that's offering some resistance to, to the dollar, helping the stock market, and also offering some uh, resistance to the wheat market. Um, USDA raised crop ratings uh, for both corn and uh, soybeans last night. This is very contra-seasonal and suggests that uh, the weather last week was uh, very good for, for crops. Um, all, they lowered the spring wheat ratings and spring wheat harvest is behind normal uh, and that kind of goes along with some of the wet conditions that they're seeing up there. So in general, uh, we have a big crop and now we have to get it to the finish line. Uh, no signs of uh, any uh, early freeze across the U.S. Midwest. Uh, hopefully the corn crop will mature in time and hopefully we'll have good harvest weather. Um, <clears throat> there is some dryness in Australia and uh, there is um, maybe too much rain uh, that has been around across the southern part of the United States delaying the soybean harvest there. But we're hoping that conditions uh, turn normal over the next uh, month or so. Other than that, um, the higher crop rating, USDA is on September uh, 11th with their estimate. Uh, some people don't think they'll be quite as big as FC Stone's numbers, but uh, could eventually the crop could be as big as what uh, the private estimate said. Um, we've got the ceasefire in Ukraine, and uh, we've got um, some of the money moving out of the grain markets on the long side because of the lack of any real bullish story. As always, these are my thoughts and not those of ADM or ADM Investor Services, and have a safe and profitable trading day.